The Odd Couple, we went to Chicago and played in Chicago for a year and a half, and then I stayed in Chicago and worked at the Second City. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? Oh, I had some friends up there, and I, and I had done improv theater before. Okay. I'd done a lot of improv in workshops and in theater. I, I loved improv. What skills did you get from Second City in particular? Well, you kind of get a kind of fearlessness. You go out there and you try something and it may not work, but you just go ahead and try it anyway. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you flop and sometimes you score. That's improv. Big time, yeah. And it's, it's, it's wonderful, but it, it really helped me a lot. And around the same time, there was all this political and social turmoil going on. I That's noticed. true. Tell me a little bit. I know you got involved with doing anti-war skits. Well, when, when, when I, I was in Chicago in Second City uh, in 1968, which was an amazing year, the assassination of Martin Luther King and then the assassination of Robert Kennedy mm -hmm. and then the Democratic Convention in Chicago. Were you there for the, all the yeah, turmoil? Yeah, I was there. God. And it left a big impression on me. It radicalized me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was I was kind of against the Vietnam War, but uh, this this drove me further left. Understandably, uh, where did you do these skits with? I see Jane Fonda. Basically, uh, after I did the movie Joe, I, I hooked up with the people who were doing this thing with Jane Fonda and Donald Sutherland, and I did a couple of shows with them. Mm -hmm. Basically, in uh, outside of Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and outside a Navy base in San Diego. And then I dropped out, it got too political. There was too much politics within the group. Really? Yes, really.